Are you glad to be in the house of God this morning? 
Another Friday morning, amen. God has given us to praise him, worship him, and listen to his word. Amen. amen. I want everybody to stand up on their feet for a moment. Just everyone stand up on their feet. I want you to hold hands with the person standing next to you. The right and the left, just hold hands. Even the pastors, can I request the music team? Everybody, just hold hands. The Bible says we must carry each other's burdens. Amen. amen. And as you hold hands with the person standing next to you, that person might not tell you what burden they are having, but feel it. Feel it. In faith, carry it. Amen. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you this morning. We are coming to you as one church, one body, one bride, Lord. Father, we are not separated. We might have come from different backgrounds. We might have a different way of worship. But Father, we are one in you, Lord. And you said in your word, when we, are, when we gather together, you said you will send the Holy Spirit. Father, this morning we are hungry for the Holy Spirit. We are thirsty for the Holy Spirit. Lord, we are done playing church. We are done having religious gatherings. But Lord, this morning, anoint this place in such a way that we will not go out of this place the way we came. Speak to us. Change us, Lord. Remake us. Remodel us. Break us. But do what you want in this place. But make us more like Jesus. Father, we are come expectantly. We have come believing. We know that you can do everything. So Lord, have your way. Every person standing here who are holding hands with one another, Lord, in faith we are carrying each other's burdens. Let them know they are not alone. Let them know that God is with them. And that he's still on the throne and he still rules everything by the power of his word. Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. You may be seated. I will just have a read for you one verse of scripture and we will straight away get into the time of praise. If you have your Bible, just open it to the book of Habakkuk chapter number 3. The book of Habakkuk chapter number 3. We will just read few verses from verse 17 to verse 18. Verse 17 verse and verse 18. Did you bring your Bibles this morning? If you have not brought your Bible, you can take your neighbor's Bible, if they have bought one. But carry Bible to church. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. It reads like this, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fall, and the fields shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Verse 18 is what I love. It says, yet, say with me, yet, yet. I will rejoice, I will in, the rejoice Lord. in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. I just want to bring to your attention two words, just two words, and we will get into a time of praise. Verse 17 begins with a word called although. Although. You might ask me, Pastor, this morning, I am going through so many things. Although I am going through this and I am going through that, I have this challenges, that challenges. We are living in a world where the world is going down. We are living in a world where stress is increasing, anxieties are increasing, fear is increasing. There is pestilence, there is earthquakes, there are so many. If you open the news, you see all kind of negative news. And this is what Habakkuk is trying to bring to our notice this morning. Is this was a very tough time in the in the history of Israel. They were going through famine, they were going through pestilence, they were going through hunger, cattle was dying, were dying, people were dying, things were not looking very, very good. So he begins 17 by saying, although he says, although these things are happening, he says, and he lists a number of things. But I like how he begins verse 18. He begins by saying, yet. This morning, brothers and sisters, I don't know what situation that you have come in here. You have come in here thinking, let it this be another Friday, I just to attend, give attendance, just put a tick. But if you really have come and you have so many issues going on in your life, I want, you, want to give you verse number 18. Yet, 
i will rejoice in the lord i will see it is an it is an it is a decision that you have to make i will rejoice in the lord and i will joy in the god of my salvation amen, yes, amen. as we stand up on our feet this morning i know i'm making you do a lot of exercise this morning it's good to lose a little bit of calories on a friday morning and we're going to lose more calories when we praise amen we're going to dance we're going to sing we're going to praise no matter what situation you have come in this morning you make a decision i will rejoice in the lord Hallelujah. i will joy in the god of my salvation amen. He is going to come through for you, brothers and sisters. In the end, you will be victorious. Amen. You will come out. This too shall pass. You will come out stronger. Amen. Come on, let's give a clap offering to the Lord. Let us rejoice in God. Every instrument, every person sitting here, open your mouth and begin to praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Rejoice, 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 rejoice. Rejoice in your God. Amen, 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 amen. Because God is alive and He is in the midst of us right now. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that He has made. Joy! 
rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. That's it. It doesn't depend on the circumstance. It depend on my heart or my voice. It doesn't depend on the way I feel. I made up my mind and I'm gonna rejoice. Come on. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. What a good, good Lord we have. What a sweet, sweet Savior is He. So full of love and compassion, so filled with purity. What a good, good Lord we have. What a sweet, kind Savior to me. My heart is filled with a melody, and I freely need to sing of His love. Oh, what a good, good Lord! Oh, what a good, good Lord we have! Oh, what a sweet, sweet Savior is He! So full of love and compassion, so filled with purity. Oh, what a good, good Lord we have! Oh, what a sweet, kind Savior to me! My heart is filled with a melody, and I'm freely to sing of His love. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Oh Jesus, I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. For I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so, so good. There's nothing to fear, cause I'm here in your presence. Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so, so good. I just want to thank you with every beat of my heart. You've given me eternal life, and you want to guide my way. You've given me a spirit, and you mercies every day. Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so, so good. There's nothing to fear. I'm here in your presence. Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so, so good. I just want to thank you with every beat of my heart. You've given me confidence, and my soul is filled with peace, for you are my provider. You supply my every need. Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so, so good. There's nothing to fear, cause I'm here in your presence. Jesus, you are so good. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, you are so, so good. And I just want to thank you with every beat of my heart. I just want to thank you. I 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I had no idea what the music team were preparing for this Friday morning. But as they began to sing, most of their songs were about rejoicing. Amen. And the scripture which we took today was, yet I will rejoice. Amen. This can't be coincidence, brothers and sisters. I want you to sing that first song once more. And I want us to rejoice because I believe the Holy Spirit is giving a a mandate to the church today to rejoice in him. We will rejoice, amen. amen. We will rejoice in our God. It doesn't depend on circumstances. It doesn't depend on anything. It depends on him, amen. He's able to do everything. Come on, let us rejoice. Let us rejoice, amen. I will rejoice. Hallelujah. I will rejoice. Yes. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. It doesn't depend on the circumstance, the strength of my arms or my voice. It doesn't depend on the way I feel. I've made up my mind and I'm gonna rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Hallelujah. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Come on, you can be louder. You can be louder. Bring this house down in the praises of your God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God is fighting your battles outside. Amen. When you are here in the church praising Him, He is fighting your battles outside. Amen. And victory will always be yours if you trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. As we remain standing this morning, the prayer focus for this month is a nation of Pakistan. You know, my heart is for Pakistan. You know why? I was born on the Pakistan Independence Day, 14th of August. So I will call upon Sister Smitha. Is she in the house? Sister Smitha. Oh, she's here. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful morning, O oh Lord Jesus. You have gathered us here, O oh Lord Jesus, to praise you and to worship you, the King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the perfect health and strength you have blessed us with, Lord Jesus. At this time, O oh Lord, I lift up the nation of Pakistan, O oh Lord Jesus. Your word says in Galatians 3.28, there is neither Greek nor Jew, nor slave, nor free, nor woman, nor man. But, all, but you all are one in Christ. We all are one in you, Lord Jesus. And we pray in one accord for the nation of Pakistan, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, your glory to shine in this nation, Lord Jesus. We pray, oh Lord Jesus, may, my Lord, have great, may your grace and mercy, oh Lord Jesus, be in this country, oh Lord Jesus, be upon this country, Lord Jesus. Father God, at this time we pray, oh Lord Jesus, for the leaders, for the government of this nation, oh Lord Jesus. 
that they may not lead, Lord Jesus, selfishly, O Lord Jesus, nor for their personal uh, ambition, O Lord Jesus, or not for the uh, vain conceit, Lord Jesus, but for the welfare of the people, irrespective of the religion, O Lord Jesus. May they take decisions wisely, O Lord Jesus, so that there will be peace in the country, Lord Jesus, not conflict and no violence, Lord Jesus, so that all the citizens of this nation, O Lord Jesus, will pe live, O Lord Jesus, in a just and peaceful society free of crime and violence, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray for the small community of Christians in this nation, O oh Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the tenacity of the church, of the Christian churches in Pakistan, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. which has endured so much of trouble and pain in the recent decades, but they are still standing strong and, O oh Lord Jesus, committed to you because of you and for you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, for unity among the brothers and sisters in Pakistan, Lord, Christian brothers and sisters in Pakistan, and that their main focus should be upon you, O Lord Jesus, in you, O Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we pray for the discrimination against the Pakistani Christians, O Lord Jesus, would end, O Lord Jesus, and that their rights, being the citizens of Pakistan, would be upheld, O Lord Jesus. We pray for all the churches in Pakistan to grow and to flourish, O Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord. We pray for you to give a vision to your children over there, O oh Lord Jesus, to outreach within their own communities and beyond, Lord Jesus. We pray for courage, boldness, and a spirit of grace, O oh Lord Jesus, and much grace, O oh Lord Jesus, to be with your children as they seek, O oh Lord Jesus, to, O oh Lord Jesus, make your name the name above all names known all throughout Pakistan, O oh Lord Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord Jesus, at this time, O oh Lord Jesus, for the production of uh, many TV programs and amazing TV programs and we thank you for the growth of the Christian media oh Lord Jesus in this nation which is creating opportunities for your word for gospel to be known to many people for for your Christian faith to be known Lord Jesus we pray through these TV channels oh Lord Jesus many should come to know you Lord Jesus many should come to know your saving grace oh Lord Jesus every knee in this nation oh Lord Jesus must bow before you every tongue confess that you are the Lord and there is no other God other than you, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we pray against the cause of fear, discrimination, Lord Jesus, persecution and violence. And we pray your children may have a new anointing of your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord Jesus, so that they may be able to face these challenges, O oh Lord Jesus. We pray for again courage and boldness and a spirit of love to replace this fear which many of your people in this nation is going through, Lord Jesus. At this time, O oh Lord Jesus, we pray that terrorism, which has reduced in the recent years, O oh Lord Lord Jesus, to end, oh Lord Jesus, and that, Lord Jesus, those who are caught up in terrorism, turn away from their evil ways, wicked ways, and repent, Lord Jesus. Also, we pray, Lord Jesus, for those caught up in extremism, which is a significant problem in Pakistan, Lord Jesus. We pray that, that they would give up and that there would be peace and justice, that, that peace and justice will prevail in this nation, oh Lord Jesus. And that, Lord Jesus, and the human rights of all kinds would be protected, Lord Jesus, and this extremism will not have any power to damage it, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, against the curse of drug addiction, who has got so many men and women and children in that cruel grip, oh Lord Jesus. We pray they give it up, oh Lord Jesus. And we pray, oh Lord Jesus, this drug trade which is going on in Pakistan to come to an end forever, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, as Psalms 133, 1 says, How pleasant and good it is for brothers to dwell in unity, Lord Jesus. At this time, we are praying for the seemingly impossible, that is, for peace between India and Pakistan, Lord Jesus. We pray that the relationship between India and Pakistan be mended and an atmosphere of peace, love, and mutual respect be created so that, Lord Jesus, the entire region will have huge benefits out of this, Lord Jesus. We pray for those who are affected from the floods and earthquakes which took place recently. Lives which is gone, which cannot be restored. But we pray, Lord Jesus, helping hands be coming out. Be, Lord Jesus, be extended for those to comfort, to comfort those who lost everything, oh Lord Jesus, so that everything they can get back, oh Lord Jesus. There may be peace and comfort, oh Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we pray, oh Lord Jesus, you pour out your mighty blessings upon this nation, oh Lord Jesus. And your glory be revealed to all the citizens, oh Lord Jesus. We pray Pakistan would be strong, safe, and resilient, O oh Lord Jesus, to face any challenges, whatever challenges, O oh Lord Jesus, that may arise in the future, O oh Lord Jesus. We pray this nation, O oh Lord Jesus, to have a blessed, hopeful, and positive future. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of God. I will call upon our General Secretary, Pastor Philip, to come and give the announcements.
A warm welcome to each and everyone seated in this sanctuary and watching us online. Can we wave, put our hands in the air and say, thank you, Lord Jesus. We just proclaim that uh, we made a choice to re rejoice in the Lord. Is that true? Amen. Yes. It is a choice given to each and every child of God, a believer, that to uh, rejoice in the presence of the Lord, knowing that the devil will be ashamed to know that how can he rejoice in, in the midst of all these challenges and the problems and the obstacles that come. Amen. So that is what the Lord is asking us to do. Rejoice in his presence. Amen. This morning, once again, a warm welcome. And uh, before I go to the announcements, the Lord reminded me to say that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse number 6 says he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Three conditions. First, number one, to know who he is. Number two, he is able. Number three, he is willing. It's all in the same words. So, this morning, how many of you can lift your hands? He is. I know who he is. I know he is able. And I know he is willing. So th have this assurance this morning that Lord is able and is willing and I know my Lord. As Paul says, I know who I trust in. These are perilous times, these are challenging times and we need to trust the Lord. Amen? So be encouraged by this verse saying that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek it. Amen? Okay, quickly to the announcements, warm welcome once again, and sisters prayer, 10 a.m. to 11, uh, or every Wednesday, that's online, and uh, that's, uh, uh, if you want further information, Sister Fabiola, you can contact her. Church school, uh, you need to take care of the snacks, uh, the snacks will be provided inside the classrooms, as you all know that it's a Ramadan season, and uh, please make sure that you eat and drink in these premises only, don't take out your coffee and accidentally walk uh, outside or know your samosas and walk outside, please make sure that we obey the laws of this land. So that applies for the children as well as for the adults. Uh, uh, we want to say that youth crew, youth has uh, been started in the church school as a part of the church school, 15 years and above. Uh, it will be in room number three starting at 10.30. So anybody over the age of 15 years can join the youth uh, group at 10.30 in room number 3. Make a note of that. Another announcement. Council meeting will be next Wednesday at 7 p.m. All pastors without fail should attend that meeting. Council meeting uh, next Wednesday, 29th, I think. It's uh, 7 p.m. All pastors, please attend. Uh, another thing is that uh, Friday is the most busiest day of uh, this church. Many language groups, many congregations come into this. Somebody sent me a, a, a picture of how the place was after some groups left. It's sad to note that, you know, we are not keeping the house of the Lord clean and tidy. So please, it is the responsibility. Having fellowship, eating and drinking is allowed. But to keep the premises clean and tidy, it's my responsibility and your responsibility. So please ensure that if you are having a fellowship, please keep the house of the Lord clean outside as well as inside. And also the, uh, when you go back from your service, please make sure that the chairs are put properly. If you need, need to be stacked up, please do that. You, uh, you have to stack it up, please do that. Another one, VBS starts on 27 to 30th uh, at the NEC premises, uh, please. Uh, make sure that you send your kids over there. All right. Birthdays. Anybody new, uh, new coming this morning? Anybody new fellowshipping with us this morning? Please rise to your feet. We want to pray for you. Anybody new with us this morning? Nobody is new. All right. Anybody celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries? Please rise to your feet. We want to pray with you. Birthdays and wedding anniversaries throughout this week. Anybody watching us? Thank you. Thank you. All right, quickly let's close our eyes and bless these wonderful children of God. 
Father, we just thank you. Proverbs chapter 10 verse number 22 says, The blessing of the Lord, it enriches and it adds no sorrow to it. Father, as your word says, Father, every blessing is from above. The precious gift of life is from above, Father. Last one year you have been faithful to all those who have been celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This proves that the blessing of the Lord was with them. As they stand, they bear a testimony saying that the goodness of the Lord they have enjoyed in the land of the living. Thank you, Father. As they stepped into a new year, we as a church pray together and bless them and say, Father, Father, the goodness and the mercy and the kindness and a closer walk and a relationship with the Lord Jesus will ever more increase in their life so that they can always see God is the one who can be trusted and move on in their life. We bless them as a church in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let their life be a blessing. The new year be a blessing. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for the announcements. Now it's time to give to the Lord. So whatever you have purposed in your heart to give to the Lord today, please hold the money in your hand. And we're going to pray. Anybody here struggling with finances, struggling with jobs, struggling with debts, when you take out your seed, I just want you to believe that God is nobody's debtor. Amen. So I want to close your eyes and just trust God. When you do your part, he will do his. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to give unto your kingdom, Lord. Father, we pray every fill that goes into this bag will be blessed. That, Lord, your children will not throw, but they will sow the seed into this bag. And, Lord, you are a God who is nobody's debtor. You said when we give unto you, you will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that we will not be able to contain, Father. Father, I pray every child that is putting, sacrificially putting into this bag, believing, Father, Lord, meet them at their point of need. And we pray every fill that goes into this bag will be a blessing and will be used for the extension of your kingdom, Lord. We pray that, Father, you will give the counsel the wisdom, Lord, and the discernment to sow the seed in the right soil, Father. We give you glory and we give you thanks. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Give all to be with you. 
I confide in you through all my darkest moments. In you I find my peace, my comfort when I'm weak. I trust in you through storm and raging sea. Faithful, you're my You're the glory and the lifter of my Can we all stand up on our feet as we worship? Let's continue to worship. He leads me in your way. Forever I surrender all to you. Hallelujah. We're entering into a time of worship. A very intimate moment between you and the Lord. But as we gather in this church as a corporate body and as we sing worship unto the Lord, let it be one voice going up to heaven. The Bible says God abides in the praises of his people. He is seeking worshippers. He is seeking worshippers. He is not lack of worship. He gets worship in heaven 24-7. But what he is seeking here today is worshippers. Worshippers whose hearts are broken. Whose hearts are searching for him. Whose heart is hungry and thirsty for his presence. Church, if this morning, if you can give the best worship, God will give his best to you. Hallelujah. He's already given his best, his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross. And as we worship the Lord, let us remember what he has done for us. And let us remember who he is. Hallelujah. Don't look at, don't worry about the person standing next to you. This is your time with the Lord. It's a very powerful moment. Don't miss this. Don't miss this church. This is a very powerful moment. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. As we worship you, let all the world come and see how the mercy we've received from you can set them free as we worship you let all this joy that fills our hearts bring a hunger and a hope to those who strayed so far as we bow in adoration and stand in reverent awe show your man that you're anointing fall as we declare your name lord jesus 
as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart, we pray. As we worship you, let all the nations hear us along. The song of Jesus and his blood that proved his love for all. As we worship you, may all the lost and broken come. May they hear your still small voice call out their names, each one. As we bow in adoration and stand in reverent awe. Show your majesty and glory, but your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart, we pray. As we worship you. Let all the world come and see how the mercy we've received from you can set them free. As we worship you, let all the joy that fills our hearts bring a hunger and a hope to those who strayed so far. As we bow in adoration, Stand in reverent awe. Show your majesty and glory. The your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart, we pray. As we worship you, as we worship you, Jesus, we enthrone you. Yes, Jesus, we proclaim you are. Jesus and take your 
worship. Let's exalt His name. Let's exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy. He is worthy. Oh, let's exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us worship Him. Let us worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's worship the Alpha and the Omega. Let's worship the Creator. Let's worship our Redeemer. Let's worship our Shepherd. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's worship. Oh, we give you praise. worship. There is none like you. There is none beside you. Hallelujah. 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 We worship your name. Let's sing that chorus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship your name. Hallelujah. Just open your mouth and sing hallelujah. for your presence in this place. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing in this place. The anointing that breaks every yoke. The anointing that heals the sick. That comforts the brokenhearted. We thank you, Lord. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah.
The cheerful prayers for the lost and perishing souls have been answered. Keep the doors of the church open. People will come asking for how to get saved. Wait for them, wait for them, the Lord says. The doors which should be open for the people to come in and to be saved. And somebody, is, somebody here anxious about some, something back home. The Lord says, reveal, I'll reveal my name over the situation. Declare my name, pronounce my name over that situation. I will take care of the things. You are my children. Exercise your faith. When you come to me, you must exercise. I have given each and every one of you a measure of faith. Even if it is like you, your, your, speed, your faith is like a mustard seed, you boldly declare. You must declare and decree a thing and it shall come to pass. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever, and my word will not return to your void unless and until it accomplished for which it being sent. And you are here, the right moment, right place, and this is the day of your deliverance and healing, and receiving answers to your prayers. All your tears have come to the throne of grace. The Lord is telling, yes, be bold and confident, and declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and this is the day of your victory. The enemy cannot hold you. Yes, you have been entangled with the many things. Yes, the shackles and the fetters are being broken in the name of Jesus. So from this day onwards, you will walk, you will talk, you will be joyful in the Lord and you will, whatever the kindred, the blessings, like a floodgates, God is opening. So beware of the enemy's tricks. Do not go back, do not fall back to the old sin. And this is the Lord's day, and you are going to receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. Uh, there is a car number 79087. 79087. It's a GAC. Can I please request whosoever car is it? Please, can you remove this immediately? Uh, I think you're blocking the road. 79087. Uh, this morning, the scripture reading is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 16, from verses 1 to 8. I will call uh, Divya to come and do the scripture reading. Um, the praise of the Lord. Today's scripture reading is from Mark 16, verses 8, 1 to 8. Mark 16, verses 1 to 8. Now when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they may come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had already been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe, sitting on the right side, but they were alarmed. He said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. So they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, as they trembled and were amazed. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. May this Lord add blessing to the reading. Thank you. Thank you, Divya. I'll call Pastor Jacob to come and give the message for this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Opportunity God has given us to gather together in the nation of Bahrain <coughs> together with his facilities. Let us have that thankful heart as we sit in the presence of God and worshiping the Almighty God. Hallelujah. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> 
portion we read, Mark chapter 1, verse 1 to 8. Yeah? 15, 15, Mark 15, chapter, chapter 16, verse 1 to 8. The third verse, third verse. In that third word, we find a question. Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? Questions. I think questions comes when doubt, fear, help us, helpless crisis comes. These times, the questions comes. Here, these questions comes because of three sisters who are going to the tomb of Jesus Christ to anoint the body, their helplessness, they are asking this question, who will remove the stone? Who will roll away? That is the word is used. Why that word is used? Roll away. Because in chapter 15, verse, last verse, two words, when we read, we know these sisters were there seeing the stone rolled and kept front of the door of that tomb. So they are asking, they cannot remove or they cannot roll away this stone, they are helpless. This is a question to us. In our helpless position, in our crisis, whom we are searching, where we are approaching, Make sure this question. So many times we failed. I failed. We go after wealth. We, we go after people who have position. We go after people who are strong. Who shall roll us away? Who will roll away the stone from the door for us? The fourth word says, but when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. When they looked up, I strongly believe this question, maybe they are asking to God, they looked up. This was a not only a question, but prayer to God. Lord, who will roll away this stone for us? That is why that word, I, I believe, they looked up. By it. This is my prayer today. If you anyone sitting here with this question, why it is to me, or who will help 
in my situation or how I will solve this problem. May the God help you to find a but. They looked up. What they find? God. How many of you be in ICU? ICU. Eh? ICU is where? Eh? The hospital. You can make ICU in your home also. Here also. I see you. There is a place people are busy. There is a place they will be alone. They can see God. The difficult time in their life, they are looking unto God. They find the stone was rolled away. I went and saw that place. I don't know if it is original or not. <laughs> they kept one big, you know, even three, four people cannot, maybe strong people, four can roll. Why it is rolled? Because nobody can lift and remove. It is rolled and kept it there. It is rolled and they can move it. They were looking into the Lord. They saw. I want to bring your attention. God in his providence. God will do. God will preserve. God will provide. God will govern or rule. This, I want to bring it to your attention. Look at the beginning of the Bible. The God who made the heaven and earth become formless and waste. God in his preservation. God preserved the world. That shapeless world. That hopeless world. God preserved. Hallelujah. We'll go to the word. When people of Israel was asking, who will help us in his famine? When Jacob and their children and whole family, Israel starting, they gone through a great famine. There comes a question. Who will help us from this famine time? What was the answer? In chapter 45, Genesis chapter 45, verse 5. I want to bring five questions, five questions. People are asking Israelites. This is the first question in Genesis. I find in their famine they are asking who will help us in, from this famine. As Pastor Premba said, we are going through a difficult time all over the world. After the COVID, people are suffering. People are going through difficulties, everything. Challenges. But I'm telling you, God preserved for his children. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that? Hallelujah. 
Can you lift your hands and say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Not because of our ability, not because of our merit, what we are having, why we are here, how we came, and what we are enjoying. Everything is he preserved for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, five verse five. But now, do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. Joseph is telling his brothers. For God sent me before you, you to preserve it. You to preserve it. Look at that. God who created the universe, the earth become void, God preserved. And here, see, Joseph is telling, this is not my, hallelujah, my work. This is not what I do, but God's preserved for you in the famine. Who will deliver? The, hey, uh, Joseph is giving answer to them. That question. God, who give me a vision? Hallelujah. That is for not for hallelujah, for making enmity or making a hallelujah disagreement, but it is preserving. God preserved all before the famine comes. Hallelujah. You understand something? God, hallelujah. Are you in need or anxiety or worry, whatever way we got? Hallelujah. The, hallelujah. the question coming from you, who can help me? Why it is to me? Hallelujah. How I will come out of this situation? Hallelujah. How I will overcome? Hallelujah. God. God can do that. Hallelujah. Very quick, I want to hallelujah. First thing, their question is famine and who will hallelujah, help us? In this famine, God preserve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second thing, the Exodus. Exodus, we can see a question. Same Israelites is asking to God, who will deliver us from this slavery? Who will deliver us from this slavery? It's a question. They are helpless. They try their best. Years are going, hallelujah. No help, no one tries. One came to deliver them with his strength. He failed. And he ran away from Egypt. Now they are crying. They are looking up and asking God the same question. Who will deliver us? Hallelujah. You can see that in uh, Exodus chapter 3. Chapter 3. Hallelujah. 7 and 8. 7 and eight. 7 says... I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, so I have come down to deliver them. How we come down to deliver them? On this question, who will deliver me? Who is going to help us? In this situation, hallelujah, God is telling, I will do that. In their first question, who will help us in this great famine? I preserved for you. Here comes who will deliver. Yes. Who will deliver us? 
God is telling, I will do that. I will do that. Dear brothers and sisters, in your difficulty, are you going through a difficult time in your life? Struggle. Because of any, any sort of things. Because of job, hard work, family crisis, whatever you can name it, I'm telling you, if you really asking to God, looking up, where it is reaching there or not, When God give answer, I will deliver. You treat to me. Their cry reached to me. I saw what they are having in their life. I will deliver. I will deliver. The second question. Anybody here with this question? How much hard I am working. Whatever I earn, I cannot use it. It is like a hole in the bag. It is going. I am not enjoying. People are coming and pray for prayer. Because I am working hard and getting money. But it is not benefited to me. Why it is happening? Hallelujah. In Hakai, the prophet Hakai is selling. Hallelujah. The people who are complaining like that, hallelujah. Search your ways. Go and study the book of Hakai. They are what they are prophet selling. Search your ways. How you are. Spending you your money. Hallelujah. In days, I want to advise all of them. Don't misuse your money. More than earning money, ask God wisdom to spend the money in the proper way. Work hard. God will honor us. Hallelujah. 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 If anyone is not getting money from your sponsor, your workplace, God is going to do a great thing. Look at your hallelujah ways. If you honor God with your wealth, are you after the wealth? Are you giving more importance to God or a world? Are you living your prayer, even your prayer, even your coming, even your worship? For what? For the survival? For the earthly benefit? For tomorrow's life? Or honoring God? Hallelujah. It's a question. Hallelujah. How we know that? How you spend the money. Hallelujah. That is why a guy is telling, look at your ways. Why you are not, you cannot hold up your, what you earn. You are considering for yourself. You are not considering God and things of God. That is a mistake. Hallelujah. 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 Why it is in my life? God wants to intervene. God wants to do something. Hallelujah. Where comes God's hand when it reaches to God? When our question Lord, whom you are sending, who is going to help me, hallelujah. That I'll cry, I have to reach there, hallelujah. 
The first song we sang, I find there that first song earlier. We cry unto the Lord, we are helpless. Are you still holding on your strength? Are you still thinking you are able? That positive thinking all good. Bible doesn't teach the positive thinking and all. Just opposite Bible teaching. When you surrender to Lord, I am nothing. I cannot. And I preach here. When we become zero, when we come to the point, there comes God's work. If you are able, why you are, God want to intervene in on that? By your good education, hardly you are uh, uh, you are depending on your education, your talent. Why God want to intervene? When you surrender. That is why Akai is telling, look at your ways. How you are honoring God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second question, who will deliver us from this bondage? This slavery, hallelujah. Any type of slavery are you? Sin? Yes. You want to come out telling lies, gossiping, going to other homes, meeting friends, not for good purpose? Are you continuing in that? What type of slavery you are going through? Hallelujah. Every month you are borrowing. Every month, hallelujah, you are asking help. Every month you are crying. Today is a day you can finalize that. Hallelujah. For you. For you. Hallelujah. Today, if your cry reach to heaven, if you see God, and meet today. This is a day God is going to answer you. Hallelujah. 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 Very quick. I want to tell you two, three things and we will today. We are going to spend time, time for prayer. I'm telling you, if your heart is lying with the word of God, to surrender yourself, God empty. God will honor you. God will answer you. God will hear your cry. God will answer your question. Why, Lord? Who will? Why it is to me? God will answer you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Leviticus, what I find, there is so many things you can find. But today I find something that is people are asking on God's one question, be holy as I am holy. People are asking, how? Who will make us holy? How I can we be holy? God is willing. I am the God who make you holy. Hallelujah. Not because of your works. That is what the New Testament teaches. That is what we believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not our strength. Hallelujah. We are brothers and sisters. You are not separated from the evil of this world. From the fashion of this world. From the fleshly desires of this world. We believe in the Holy Spirit, filling of the Holy Spirit, fullness of the Holy Spirit. What the fullness of the Holy Spirit do? Hmm? 
not with our struggle, not with our strength, not with our hard work, but the hallelujah work of the Holy Spirit within us will give us a separation from this world. People are asking, how oh Lord, who will help us to be separate? Hallelujah. All people are doing hallelujah. All are doing this hallelujah. All are doing the corruption hallelujah. One day I went to there, hallelujah. I want some paperwork in the government department, hallelujah. My brother-in-law was telling me, hallelujah, give some money and get it. All are doing that. I refuse to give. Work is not done. I came back. After some time, somebody done it. But I am telling you, I am not how much suppression, how much uh, I am keeping, God only really knows. But your question, who will, there is somebody, Holy Spirit within you can help you. The Holy Spirit within you can help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why God has given Holy Spirit, hallelujah, for permanently, hallelujah. You cut that hallelujah, Old Testament people. When the Holy Spirit comes, they did miracle. They did hallelujah to the one, hallelujah, healing. They did so many things, hallelujah, in their life. All of them, hallelujah, sinned, hallelujah. David, Samson, hallelujah, take it to anybody, hallelujah. After Jesus came to the this He promised his spirit will be with you always. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not hallelujah. Our fellowship, our relation, our hallelujah, our hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah our desire to serve God. Not only for the church, hallelujah. I noticed some of the hallelujah. It is good, hallelujah. Some of you are hallelujah, very clean and punctual and hard work. For that, I, I, I respect and I honor. And I, are you only for this or your lifelong? Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm pointing you, hallelujah, for everybody, for including me. This is only for showing. I'm sorry to use this verse. Or in your secret life, are you keeping that holiness, that desire, that hallelujah, that hallelujah, that desire to serve God? Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 19 and 20. Go and read. New Testament, you read. I am the God who make you holy. I am the God. Hallelujah. People are telling hallelujah. Book of Isaiah and Jeremiah. How we can do that? How we can give that suppression? How we can be hallelujah, away from this Gentile people? Always, always, I am the God. I am the God who is with you, who will help you. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Not with our strength, we are not. Hallelujah. Live as Gentiles live, as the hallelujah. people who are going to perish lives. Hallelujah. Any pattern, any sort of life, we are not earlier removed, earlier throw. We are not allowing a new thing. Hallelujah. This is free. We will get it. That suppression we, God will make within us. Hallelujah. You know the hallelujah. Uh, the invitation for the king. In notice in Luke chapter, I think, hallelujah. When the invitation gives, 
all can come. There is no casualty. There is no discrimination. There is nothing. Hallelujah. All can come. Even the uh, hallelujah, beggars, even the hallelujah, locust people, everyone, everyone can come with their own dress. Hallelujah. Someone is having very good dress. Someone is having hallelujah, very poor dress. Cheap. Hallelujah. Someone has having dirty dress. Someone has uh, very good. But all God, all God in the gate, all God the invitation, all God the earlier garment in the gate. It is offered, it is free. But what happened? You know the story, that is why I am not taking earlier. What happened? Eh? One person is without the garment which offered by the king, the inviter. Why? Why is not wearing that garment? Self-righteousness. When he came, what is there? He don't have suit. I have suit. What is there? Yeah, dirty dress is coming. I have today I try cleaned. Not this, eh? <laughs> uh, he, he was thinking. What is wrong in that? Garment when he saw. Nothing wrong with this. Uh, I don't need it. He entered and sit there. When the king comes, when the king comes, when the king comes, when the king comes. You understand something? I repeat that word. King comes. King comes. King comes. Nobody noticed. Even notice nobody is her voice, but king. Why this man is not having the garment? He is invited. It was offered free. Why he refused? Take them. Hmm. Take them to the fire. Hallelujah. You understand something? Lord, if you have a heart for the holiness, for the separation from the worldly people, from this filthy world, God is going to offer you freely. That is why the power of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, it will come to you. It will come to me or everyone. Hallelujah. God is going to offer that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That if you have a question today, who will do that? How I will separate? How I will keep this holiness? Hallelujah. Fourth thing. In numbers, I find a question they are asking. That is, who will provide our choice, our desire, our... Who will feed us meat in this situation? It is hard in the desert. Who will feed us, hallelujah, in his provision, in his provide? He will provide, hallelujah. Every time, if first hallelujah, hallelujah, creation, as he formed the formless earth, he did what he did in uh, chapter uh, 14. Genesis chapter 14, verse 14 says, he made seasons. 
day and night, every season, why made? It is a is provision to bring force and agriculture, everything on the earth. It was his provision. That is what we are seeing in uh, Genesis chapter 8, uh, 22. After the flood, everything was vanished. Everything was gone. But God, what God did earlier, we, God didn't cease the seasons and day and night. Hallelujah. Okay, uh, can you put it? Uh, yeah. While the earth remains, Seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. It will continue. Hallelujah. This is God's. This is where God provides. Hallelujah. Are you in a question of tomorrow? Worry? Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. Look at the valleys. Look at the lotus. Hallelujah. Are you in a question? How will you live tomorrow? How my children will hallelujah have this thing? How my family will survive? God is telling you. God would destroy with flood all the earth. It didn't cease. The season is provision. He didn't. He's same today. He's same today. Whatever things happening in this world, God is able to sustain you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more thing, very quick. In Deuteronomy, hallelujah. Deuteronomy, hallelujah. People are afraid to enter from his land because of the enemy. Who will fight for our enemy? We are helpless. We are not learned fighting. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, Bible says, Hallelujah, war is, belongs to me. Hallelujah, no war. No, hallelujah. Enemy will defeat by our strength. Hallelujah. Do you think you are, with your prayer, hallelujah, enemy is defeating? No, you pray, God will work. Hallelujah. You fast, not your fasting. Don't hallelujah, proud on your fasting. Don't proud on your prayer. Don't proud on your hallelujah lifestyle. The God who do everything for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like once, uh, always I use this Psalms. Psalms 57 verse 2. Hallelujah. He's telling hallelujah. There, there it is written hallelujah. I cry upon the most high God. Eh? Who perform all things for me. Oh, perform. I like that word. Who perform all things for me. All things for me. Hallelujah. 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 That is why David says in hallelujah. Uh, Psalms 36 verse 6 says. Hallelujah. Is Preserve for me. Hallelujah. When Paul writes, Hallelujah, in Colossians chapter 1, verse 17, says, Hallelujah, he is our answer, he is our everything, he is our Hallelujah. Who? Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. Whom we serve, whom we worship, whom we call upon, Hallelujah, he is more than enough for us, Hallelujah. Are you in a question? Are you fear to enter, hold on the promise? Do you fear what God has promised to you? It will not happen to your life. The enemy is holding. Hallelujah. Our this year promise. Hallelujah. hallelujah. God is fighting for us. I, we are taking decisions. We are taking the themes. I, we are taking all these things. But God is the one who do that. Hallelujah. We will take back. Hallelujah. By the help of the Holy Spirit. As Pastor was telling, not because of our son. By the grace of God. Hallelujah. Who will help us? Who will help us? Who will open a way for us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that. Hallelujah. There is a time for everything. Uh, Mark chapter 16 verse 1 says, After 
can you please put it there and when the sabbath was passed hallelujah when the sabbath was what is sabbath eh saturday eh eh Re- no more than anything sabbath is living with god communing with god resting with god making relation with god and coming close to god hallelujah after the sabbath hallelujah there is a time today is the time if this and the previous time we spent on hearing the word of god if you are with god you are if your heart is in rest with god taking his word i'm telling you this is a day hallelujah if you are thirst if you have a hallelujah desire hallelujah i want to serve god i want to walk with god i want to hallelujah obey god i want hallelujah i told you in his providence there is three things he preserves he provides he rules his government will come is you will be under his government more than any government of this world there comes your result hallelujah look at that hallelujah relation every time we kneel down in home or here or allowing hearing the word of god or praying hallelujah you are having this hallelujah relation sabbath after the sabbath you are going to see a miracle rolling away the stone which you cannot enter and see the miracle or receive the promise hallelujah you are going to see that hallelujah. that is what hallelujah it is happened hallelujah there comes hallelujah i have no time to uh, there comes a second word a uh, second word there comes hallelujah unity in them hallelujah they three together hallelujah very early in the morning hallelujah the first fragrance to god hallelujah her day hallelujah first day hallelujah look at that hallelujah first day first fragrance first morning hallelujah they came into the hallelujah uh, into the place at the rising of the sun hallelujah lord we thank you hallelujah. where they came together there they saw the miracle and they endured they endured and see what the death has holding they saw that as defeated hallelujah hallelujah how our fear will go for tomorrow seeing the resurrection power of jesus christ in our life halia and the landlords this halia stone is not roll away you are not going to see and receive the power of the resurrection in your life hallelujah you can lift your hands hallelujah you can hallelujah so hallelujah do so many things hallelujah i'm telling you hallelujah when hallelujah all the sabbath comes after the sabbath there comes a unity and were the people looking unto the lord and they hallelujah they have give preference to everything first god they are going to see the resurrection power are you one who are looking for that in your helpless whom you are searching in your helpless where you are going to find help that is that is why sabbath as made in our life there is no particular day there is no particular day we were having that sabbath today with the lord last two hours last two hours if it so if it so what is blocking your life to come to the receive the promise 
God is going to roll away. One angel came and rolled away. When you read the Matthew chapter 28 verse uh, 2, there we find the angel came and rolled away and sit on that. Or why? There is no place to sit. <laughs> angel? Angel has to go back. It will not roll back. It will not roll back. Hallelujah. And unless that angel is sitting there. When the Sabbath is real, that hallelujah, that angel will not stand from there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your relation with the Lord is clear. Hallelujah, that angel will not, hallelujah, get up from there. The, hallelujah, that stone will not come back, hallelujah. That, hallelujah, that problem will not come back to you. Hallelujah, that, hallelujah, enmity will not come back to you. Hallelujah, that challenges, hallelujah, hallelujah enemy making, hallelujah, will not come back to you. Hallelujah, today is a day. Hallelujah. I'm going to really want after the Sabbath. They came to the tomb. They looked up with a prayer, with a question, who will roll away the stone for us? Answer after that. But they saw. They saw. The stone is already rolled away. Hallelujah. Stone is already rolled away. You didn't find it until now. Today is the day you are seeing that God is going to help you. God is going to help you. How many of you want a prayer today? How many of you want to make a decision? To see the resurrection power. But they looked up after they saw the stone was rolled away. May the God help you today. I am sure there is someone here sitting, seeing that miracle, received today. Receive today. This word is for you. Yes. Yes, sister. Yes, in your life, God is going to do something great. Hallelujah. Shall I call for prayer? Let us stand in the presence of God. We need a prayer today. We need make a decision. Hallelujah. In any area, any question you make. Hallelujah. Pastors, can you please hardly help to pray? Hallelujah. We have less time. Please come forward and pray with the pastors. Receive, receive your miracle. Receive your questions answered. Thank you, Lord. If you are in a need, please come forward. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is same yesterday, today, and forever. If you come with an expectation, you are not going to go back empty-handed. It's a promise-keeping God. While he was on the earth, he went around all the villages, healing all the sick, delivered them. So this is your day of healing. This is a day of a deliverance. This is a day of a breaking of bondage of sins. And this is your day. If the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, please come forward. Step in the faith. 
we are all going to pray with you our pastors will pray with you you may think i have little faith yes little faith is enough or even if you do not have faith god is going to see your heart attitude and you are yes this is the this is the day this is the time and this is your thing so you are going to re- receive a miracle the breaking of bondage of sins are there the deliverer is here because it is lord jesus christ god don't look at the man because we are all human beings but the thing is the god's anointing is upon all the pastors come with the expectation don't look at the face of the people rama shanda rabu kara lara shadi riha ma shadi riha yes whatever it may be do not allow the illegal sickness in your body because illegally it is occupying so it is up to you to resist god says you resist the devil it will flee from you yes and god has given you the authority and power the, the the stone is rolled over the stone is rolled over and come back come to the friend and receive because it says that is the bit it is a faith you take by faith by action so faith without action is dead so in obedience to the word of god and the call from the pulpit you are coming to receive what our sickness yes mara ba kala rasha to re bese ke ra mara kala ra ba shan be bold nothing to worry nothing to feel shy yes yes the healing touch of lord jesus here mama ra bole ra ba ta ra kala ra sha da re ga ra ba this is your day this is your day masha ma ra ma la ra da re ka ra ba ra ba yes holy holy god holy god yes deliverer is here mara ma la ra ba the shackles are broken the fetters are getting broken your blessing is being hindered by the enemy yes the shower of blessing shower of blessings it is healing it is financial breakthrough or in your workplace or in your studies oh peace peace god of peace they say the restoration of peace is coming in your family in your workplace there's no peace god says yes i am restoring peace to my children mara makura bala rashandari pura bala yes 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 don't feel shy don't expect others to go first it is for you so that you can come forward and receive your healing answers to prayer long awaited prayer answers are getting today mashama lama rakho rabala rashandari kala badi rakho whatever it may be see the rima chandari kala bara bara why are you hold, hold, having the sickness for so long yes he say lord i am your child then he went around all those villages he healed the people so this is a day to receive the healing and blessing and all the deliverance everything for you do not allow the enemy to yes, to deceive you mara chala mata rakha rabala rasha do rubu sikha mara bala rabu ni rabala rakha la bara rasha tari hala hallelujah 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 mara masha tari hala bade yes jesus yes in your workplace you may find a difficulty your, your salary has not been paid yes god of breakthroughs is going to release you open up the heavenly windows and he is going to bless you in the coming weeks mashallah wa rabba because he is prayer answering god he is a prayer answering god hallelujah damara kana bala rasha darabu ni bara bala rasha those who come to him must believe he is a rewarder of your faith those who come to him must believe that he is a rewarder of your faith not for any man you are not coming to any man you are going to come to see your god almighty yes this is a meeting place receive your answers receive your answers samara mala rabu dure kara bala rama doctor doctors may try to do something but lord says i am your healer by my strength you are healed by my strength you are healed mara mata rabala rashanda ni mor bola hallelujah 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 damara kala rashada re 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 mara bala rashando rubu dira mala bara bara god of impossibilities god of impossibilities doing something for you doctor said my said or your your mind may think it is impossible but god is saying i am the god of impossibility nothing is impossible without me you can do nothing and he is going to do great breakthroughs which you cannot comprehend mara mata ra kala rasha doru para bala ra boru isha mara kala rasha de hallelujah hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Come forward with your faith in faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering the prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your presence in me, Jesus, light away. You are long awaited but promotion. You are long awaited promotion. Is answer. God is answering you. Masha Rabba, there are going to be testimonies in the church. Do not be anxious about your children's studies because they will be taught by the Lord, and grace shall be their peace. And prosperity will be there in the home. Your children shall be taught. Yes, He will bless the children within, 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 within your home. And He will lead you and guide you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Some of you still feel shyness. Don't feel shy. Come to the friend and pray. God wants to meet you here. Couple pray for a child. Couple pray for the child. God is blessing. Your womb is blessed. The children of the heritage of the Lord. And you are going to receive your baby in the coming months. Let us all stand our feet, please. Let us all stand our feet. thank you to Jesus. I don't know whether you came with the expectation or not all the pastors who have come with the, with the with prayer and this is your day you will not go back empty handed. Even if you feel shy not to come at the front. God has blessed each and every one of you. He knows you by name. When he knows you by your name that he knows your heart ache and everything. So God has blessed each and every one of you. He has met your need according to your heart's desire. May, according to Psalm 20 verse 4 says, May he grant all your heart desires, all your heart desires, and be established your plan and purpose in the coming days. There will be great testimonies. Can we all say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, thank you Jesus. Yes, he is a faithful God. He is unchanging God. And he is same yesterday. Can we all give a clap offering to the Lord? Yes, he never changes. He never changes. He never changes. All the stones have been rolled away. All the fetters have been broken. Now when you receive the blessing, it is your duty and my duty to hold down to you. Do not allow your packet full, your bag full of holes. The holes means living loose life. I don't know whether I told you, you know, sometime long years ago, in our Tamil cell group, one family came to me and asked for prayer. When I started praying, God showed me so many rats in their house. Then I told them, I see rats in your house. So go and check. So rats come at night. So they do, you, they do not know what is robbing. You must identify what is happening. If you are not financially sound, Pastor has already told, I want to say once again, so in the kingdom, God gives seed to the to eater or sower. God gives so seed to the sower, then 
put to the eater that comes second so you and me must sow in the kingdom if anybody is having any debts try to put today or coming weeks sow some seed you will see the blessing it is our duty to inform it is not come asking money to come to the our treasury no god wants to bless but he says give it shall be given back to you full measure shaken together spilled over this is many of us we enjoy few of you still holding on to okay let us close our the service the prayer grace is heavenly father what a great day you have given to us master we praised you we worshiped you and we exalted your name Amen. and people came with expectation and they are going back oh master god with answers so they will not have any anxieties or worries master god all these days they have been yes master god hindered or they have been yes my tar- their mind was having fear anxieties and worries now they casted out everything at thy feet and they are going back my yes master with your prayer with your answers master we thank you and praise you are our prayer answering god you are same yesterday today and forever and you have blessed your children because you rejoice in blessing your children oh master god we thank you and we praise you in jesus name we pray amen and let us receive the blessing may the love of god the father and the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ and the sweet communion of holy spirit rest and abide with us and the children of god say amen amen, amen. amen. we will rejoice because our god is alive we will rejoice i will rejoice We'll rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. It doesn't depend on the circumstance, the strength of my arms or my voice. It doesn't depend on the way I feel. I've made up my mind and I've got to rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. Hallelujah. I will rejoice. Rejoice for a made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah, we rejoice in God bless you. Go in peace.